right, you guys. Do another unboxing video for this A to B plate here. Uh, Jeremy was nice enough to send some uh, prototype spacers to go along with this. Uh, I'm gonna try to do a split screen. So there's some stuff over on the side that you probably can't see right now, um, but it will show up when I hook up the other camera. So um, let's open this up and see what we got. Let's see, do I have a knife up here? Probably not today. So we'll just go ahead and use the end of this metal ruler. Whatever works, right? Well, one thing about uh, Jeremy's packaging is it's definitely secure, so uh, definitely didn't have to worry about losing anything. Appreciate that. Better safe than sorry, right? Oh, come on. All right. So, looks like we got a spacer in there. All right. As you can see, it's a B series spacer, uh, billet aluminum. Pretty light. So, there's the spacer. Um, now I can show you how it sits on the actual uh, crank for the A20. Uh, this is where we'll switch to the other camera. So over here on camera number two, uh, it's obviously got holes uh, marked for the dowel pin. Uh, this is an A20 block uh, and crank. So you just go ahead and line that up. Over here on the table, I have a B20 crank for demonstration purposes. Uh, you can tell because the lobes on the uh, crankshaft is totally different than the one on the A series. but um, you could probably see that they're not really too much different. The same diameter, uh, you see the thickness of it comparative to the other. So there's that so over here, not that bolt bin, but this bolt bag, standard bolts just to show you. Uh, regular size bolts will go through straight through the spacer. Uh, we'll probably end up having to get longer bolts for the flywheel, but yeah, no problems there. Seems to bolt right up to the A20 crank, no problem. And that's how a spacer would go on. So there's really not too much to go on from there. Really, all you do is after that is with the longer bolts, we would just slap on a flywheel, which we got over here. Uh, this is standard lighten flywheel P30. It's for the B series. You can see it kind of in the in engraving in the paint right there. Uh, slap that bad boy. Actually, let's move the crank out of the way real quick. that to the side all right so there's that obviously these bolts aren't gonna work but we'll see what we can get Just because I'm here and excited to play with it, so so yeah, they don't even go anywhere remotely close to the bottom. You can kind of see, standard bolt won't work. You got to make up that half inch of play. So yeah, they're gonna be a little bit long, but you can see the spacer sits flush in the back of that B series flywheel. Good job, Jeremy, for never using a lathe before. You did a damn good job. So, appreciate that. 
other than that, I mean, that's it for this unboxing. So we have the first flywheel spacer.